All right, here at FightHype.com, here with the man fighting for the IBF WBA World Title Eliminator against William Zepeda, my man Maxi Hughes. Maxi, last time I caught you, it was in I, Oklahoma. I was going to say, we, I spoke to you right outside. I had my cowboy hat on, didn't I? Yeah. You did. I remember your face, yeah. Yeah, you know, you, you caught me at a real low point there. Um, you were a class act. Yeah, well, I was devastated, but I've put it behind me now. Put it behind me, and we're back here in a big fight. So, you know, I'm... That, that war what it were in Oklahoma, but you know the the attention's now shifted to Zapeda and um, we're good to go. Yeah, maybe something positive that came out of it is you gained, you know, kind of like some of the sympathy of the American boxing fans. Mm. I know you'd rather have taken the win. Yeah, yeah, but you yeah, know. yeah. Like like Lou said, my stock had gone up, and mm -hmm. I get a lot of support now from America. And you know, people haven't forgot what happened in Oklahoma. You know, like everyone, everyone's still supporting what had happened so you know i'm grateful for that well you and um you and georgia actually you know you're underdogs heading into your respective fights but if you guys both win you, all of a sudden it's a big rematch right? yeah, yeah it's it's a, <laughs> it, it turns for the big rematch yeah so yeah. i said that you know if george wins that's a big fight it's the rematch and if not if loma wins it's you know i get to share share the ring with a, a modern great what's your thoughts on uh, willie zapata max we respect him and, you know, he's, he's one of them fighters, what you see is what you get. So, you know, we're expecting a tough fight as they all are tough at this level. There's no easy fights at, at world championship level. So, yeah, you know, I know what he's about um, and we're ready. Are you going to have the power to keep this guy off? Yeah, you know, my record is what it is, but, you know, records are for DJs. Um, like, like we saw with George, if my power wasn't anything, George's corner were imploring him to go forward and let shots go. But he wouldn't because, you know, as you, you were there as well, I buzzed him, I, I wobbled, stiffened his legs up in that fifth round. So I, I don't worry about my power, you know. I'll leave that to my opponents to, to find out. Does it have to get uh, his respect to a degree where the pace is controlled by you? Or, or if this is an all-out war, you could, you could come out on top of that. Or is it, you yeah, got, I'm just yeah. ready to do what's necessary. Like, you know, with my team, we'll we just do one round at a time and we'll adjust however we need to adjust to make sure that we come out on top. And, and that, you know, and we're, we're prepared for all eventualities. We have, we have a good mix of sparring, our preparations, you know, lots and lots of different styles and eventualities that it could be. So we want, we just cover excuse me we'll cover all bases how, how do you assess him defensively do you think he's going to be kind of easy to, to find and hit I don't think I, I don't think I'm going to have to go looking for him um, I don't think it with that kind of fight right do you, uh, just quickly too what is your thoughts on George do you think he beats Lomachenko it's a different style Lomachenko comes forward he's not like you mm. you were boxing him turning him yeah Loma's going to come at him I don't I don't think I don't think George is going to get the win now, I'll be honest. You know, unless Lomachenko, it's going to be, I think, 13 months. He's had that ring by the time that fight comes. Unless Father Time's caught up with him. I know he's 35 now, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Maybe Father Time's caught him over here, but if it hasn't, I just think he'll have too much in his locker for George. You know, uh, some, some fans joke around, the Brits, they don't have the easiest time against Mexican fighters, man. No, yeah. I, but I, I mean... I've had a good experience against Giovanni Strafon. People forget that when they're like, Brits can't, sim Brits simply can't beat Mexicans. I go, watch my fight against Strafon. I won every single round and I badly had him hurt in that fifth. I passed my Mexican test. I used that. <laughs> and not only that, it was a southpaw. It was Mexican. He comes forward. It was a big puncher with a lot of knockouts. All ingredients that Williams got and I handled it and I passed that test so you know I'm, I'm confident I'm not gonna lie I love that quote I passed my Mexican test <laughs> yeah. I, I do like that, that can be a caption for a video I think <laughs> I think you just captioned our video of course <laughs> so, uh, thank, thank you Maxi Cheers, best of luck thank you brother